G'day everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back once again to the channel for another movie reaction and today we're watching a little bit of a different one. Today we are watching the Banana Splits movie which I believe was released in 2019. This is a movie I've been meaning to watch for years but I've never gone and picked up the Blu-ray until now. I've never bothered to watch it, no nothing. And I'm finally sitting here watching it as someone who's been told that this is sort of a Five Nights at Freddy's-esque ripoff just like Willy's Wonderland was last year. Now, if you guys didn't know, when I was really young, I was a massive fan of the Five Nights at Freddy's games. These games, those games came out at the perfect time for me. I was roughly, what, I was 12 years old when the first game came out in 2014. I was 12 because I didn't turn 13 until the later portion of that year. Hell, the second game came out the same year before I turned 13. God, I forgot they used to release those games six months between each other. But yeah, Five Nights at Freddy's 1, 2, 3, and 4 released in my transitional period from 7th grade to 8th grade, so primary to high school. I was the perfect age for these games, and they meant a lot to me. They did a lot for me as a young child, and I really, really enjoyed them. And I used to love watching like PewDiePie, Markiplier, Corey Kenshin, um, Jacksepticeye. I used to love watching them play these games, and... So if you guys didn't, couldn't tell, Five Nights at Freddy's, even though I know that not, not the best games in the world, I hold a special place in my heart, and for that, I found Willy's Wonderland to be a really fun, guilty pleasure movie, and I'm excited to watch this one. I'm also still holding out hope for the live-action Five Nights at Freddy's movie being produced by Blumhouse. But this is a movie I've heard a lot about, and I've been told that it is based on an actual kids' TV show back in the day, apparently, like one of those uh, live kids' shows literally called The Banana Splits or something. I don't fucking know the facts. I'm not from America. Um, but I've also been told it's sort of a horror-esque Five Nights at Freddy's rip-off sort of movie that is in the same vein. So with that, I'm kind of excited. I don't know, we'll see if that holds true or what I've heard in the past is true for that matter as well. I'm kind of hoping it is. But either way, guys, without further ado, that's enough of it. Let's jump in and let's watch the Banana Splits movie. Lots of fun for Oh my god, what are you and what fucking sewer grate did you crawl out of? And featuring Stevie! He looks like a roleplay stripper for hire. Geez, someone's had a bit too much to drink. Couldn't even make it to the bedroom. <laughs> fucking hell! Oh my god, you are the worst kid ever, I hate you. If my son did that to me, I'd fucking sucker punched. Okay, it is your birthday, but we're not celebrating it yet. Happy birthday to you, you live in a zoo, you smell like a monkey. Mom, uh, what time is it? It's past your curfew. That's what time it is. Fucking hell, too bad if he had no pants on. If he was any normal teenager, he'd be sleeping in just his socks and jocks. Please, don't tell Mitch, okay? I can't handle another one of his lectures. Can't tell who? I just really want your brother's birthday to be perfect. Oh, it's your brother, okay, that makes sense. Why is he lecturing you, though? You're the older brother. Please tell Duncan I hope he feels better. Okay, bye. Duncan has the flu, he's not gonna be able to come with us. Harley's gonna be so disappointed. Like one of his other friends. Wait, Harley? Wait, I thought the other name was his brother. Wait, what? There's not too many kids his age that still like that show. It's because it's stupid, Beth. <laughs> oh, fucking thanks, Dad. You're an asshole. Fuck, I'm 20 and I want to go to the, you know, 18 and older adults only Wiggles reunion concert. Happy birthday, buddy. Happy birthday, Harley. Okay, so Mitch is the stepfather, I presume, and then Harley's the younger brother. No, no, uh, push the button. <laughs> <laughs> Your old one broke, so I got you a new one. That is not safe for a kid to have. The banana splits. <gasps> Thank you so much, Daddy. You're the best. Harley, we talked about this. You're too old to call me Daddy, okay? You're his dad, right? I don't want to see the banana splits. Oh, Zoe, come on. It was nice enough that they invited you. We're not even friends. Well, maybe he wants to be. Mom, he's weird. 
He believes in fairies and thinks he can talk to animals. Please don't make me. He's like five. Give him a break, you twat. I don't give a shit if you're a kid. Don't be an ass. You're just gonna follow the main avenue down to stage 12. Then hang a right, and then a left, and then two more rights. Why not just give them a fucking map of the studio? That's so confu- Nah, this is why we have GPS's. We don't use a fucking Refidex anymore. You know, sometimes at night, when I'm the only one here, I see the splits riding around in the little cars. This is very fine, I said Freddy's. Ah, uh, he's the purple guy. No, he's not. That's not the law. Either way, he's the night security guard. I hope Snorky does the Snorky shuffle. It's so funny. He's totally gonna do it. He does it every time. Fuck, is this what it sounds like when I talk about anime and fucking horror movies to people? Oh god, I must be annoying. Like, Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Paige, the audience Paige. Paige the Paige. Guess you could say I was born to do this job. Guess you're gonna say you wrote that introduction down on a page. <laughs> What's up, you guys? Check it out, right? We're here at the Taft Studios. The home of oh. the banana splits. Fucking live stream vloggers no especially instagram vloggers oh they're gonna be in the movie a lot aren't they what are you stupid kid are you fucking dumb why would you just run out in front of a car here you go you can put your number in there if you want I'm so sorry. Smooth. Super smooth. It that that was wow. How was your drive, boys? You naughty splits. While these guys are slightly terrifying, th those mascots, I'm sorry, but they give nightmares to children, not make them want to see the show. Let's get you updated. We don't want any hiccups today, do we? Hiccups today? Do you mean that there's been accidents and incidents before? So why hasn't the show been shut down? Well, that's bad whenever you see red code. That That's never a good sign. <laughs> that sound! <laughs> banana splits doesn't really represent my vision for the network. Are you kidding? We're still a huge hit. What the f- wait. What kind of reason is that the cancel a show? That makes absolutely zero sense. It's but we have tapings lined up for weeks. Not anymore. God, what an ass. You couldn't be more of a prick if you tried. Oh, uh, I guess he could though. It's cold. I need my coffee. Check your tickets because we've got a little extra treat for some of you. If you've got stars in the back, then you're in luck. You get a stand for the show and meet the banana splits. And Stevie. And Stevie. Don't forget Stevie. Who, who's Stevie? I, I don't know who Stevie is. What the fuck? Yes! We got stars! We got stars! That's almost as embarrassing as Matt Smith doing his fucking dance in Morbius. Put my best of best, put my ten of ten. Or put my spend to spend. Have sex. Yeah. There you go. Snorky! Woo, Snorky! The elephant is gonna suck you with his trunk. Carl has him ready for the next scene. Q and answer. And featuring Stevie. Is that man dressed like a child? That's Stevie. Nobody really likes him. Yeah, I don't like Stevie either. That, uh, that that being pointed out is sort of disturbing. I'm not even gonna lie. That's why is he dressed as a child? Where are you going? Bathroom, Mitch. Want a full report when I get back? Yes, please. Let me know if it was a number two, a number one, or both. Oh, that's bad. Red eyes with red coat on the glasses is never a good fucking sign. It's gonna be a Chucky situation all over again. Sloppy time! Give it up for Ashley and Trevor! Never say sloppy time ever again. Jesus, this sounds like a bad porno. Really? It's Harley's birthday. You can't forget about work for one day. I'm just gonna check in. You don't even have your cell phone. Then I'll find one. Ass. Can't even forget about work for one day for your fucking son. I'm sorry, but 
You're a poor excuse for a fucking father. Fuck you. Like, wh who does that? How can you not forget about work for one day for your kid? Stevie! Are you drunk? No. I'm buzzed. That's a part of the definition of drunk. You're, you're an idiot. You know, that page uniform is really working for you. It's working for me, too. <laughs> hey, excuse me. Dude, I'm not doing autographs right now. I'm not asking for an autograph from you, dude. Seriously, fuck off. I'll be there. On cue. Like always. Whoa! You're a fucking dick. So I don't know. Yeah, from the audience, you're not supposed to be back here. Yeah, um, that is true. Um, look, it's my little brother's birthday, and he's crazy about this show, but we didn't get any stars on our tickets. You can't expect her to do a favor when she doesn't know you, and she just can't do that. That actually annoys the crap out of me. Just because it's your brother's birthday doesn't mean shit. Just stick around after the show, I'll take care of you. For real? Seriously. This is, um, this is, this is very, very cool. Yeah, uh, <laughs> that's very cool. She could lose her job, dude. Oh! Hi! You, you don't look remotely ominous at all. Why are you just standing in a corridor like that? The banana split show is done. It's my call. <laughs> So this is the asshole who tried to cancel the Banana Split show, and why is he being stalked? Like, what's with that creaky door? Ah, a door ominously closing on its own. It must have been the wind. Oh, and it locked on its own too. That's convenient as hell to keep him in the room to die. Well, that's not creepy at all. What the fuck? Oh. Aww. That's the ways of a nice cigar. What the fuck? Aww. Hey, everybody. It's time to spin the wheel of endings. The wheel of endings. Oh my god, I'm fucking hammered. Why don't you spin it, Trooper? Might be the last time you ever do. Oh. Don't do that. Don't say that. Don't do that. I'm checking my emails. Oh, it's Rock Out. What a fucking surprise. Because everyone was screaming Rock Out. Wow. This guy is fucking drunk and he's giving it his all. He's so far the best actor in the movie. He's he's really going for it. <laughs> oh! I think Stevie's dead. He I definitely like heard him break his neck or something just then. What the hell? He he definitely just fucking died. He's just he's just casually laying in the background. No one gives a shit in the audience. No one's asking what happened to him. Is he all right? No, it's just oh, it's a part of the show. He he can just lay there. Where do you think you're going? We have oh. stars in our tickets. Well, now you do, cause I'm doing a special favor that can have me lose my job. Oh, hey, I'll uh, I'll be right behind you. I hate this guy. I want to see him die. You're a terrible excuse for a fucking father. Oh look, it's my castmates! And they're all here to kill you and rip you apart and stuff you inside of an animatronic suit! Slightly terrifying. Oh well, at least Stevie's gonna die. Get the hell out of here. Fucking hell, dude, you look like you're about to pass out. What are you gonna do when they try to kill you? <laughs> Dude. 
dumbass. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. oh my god. Holy fucking shit! He got fucked up! He had this lollipop shoved right down his... You can even see the lump where the lollipop head is! Oh my god! Calling it now. Mitch is gonna die, the older brother is gonna die, the younger brother, Harley, is gonna survive, and his friend. And the mother is also gonna survive, but everyone else, including Paige, dead. If everybody can get in a line, I'll make sure you all get photos with the splits. Wow, what are you fucking five? Why are you running in like that? Granted, I would too if it was the Wiggles. Excuse me, miss? One moment, sir. Jonathan, please. Call me Jonathan. Oh, God. Jonathan, just back off, dude. Stop being an ass. Go to our websites, download the photos. Dude, what? I really need to see the producer. No, you don't. No, you don't. Not only that, um, seriously, don't pester her like that. Hey, guys. Yes. Come on, Parker. We'll have to find the producer ourselves. Oh, come on! What is with these characters? This is perfect. Come on. What are you doing? Let's check out the rest of this place. We can uh, I hate these characters. I want to see them all die. I, I want to see them all die. Oh. He's acting semi-normal. And that is definitely a person in a, a fucking furry suit. Oh god, these are furries. That's not animatronics. You can add the sound effects all you want, but the... Just doesn't work. Hey. What are you doing out here? I've been looking all over for you. Or oh, he's calling another woman. He is cheating. Right. Yes, it was Kara. <laughs> Um, are we, are we ready to go yet? Yep. Yeah. You want to come in with me? We'll grab the kids. Sure. Okay. Beth, wait, no, Beth. Oh, Beth. you sly girl. Yeah, Pete, she found out. She I'm found out. Mike, how can you, how can you explain this? Exactly, how can you explain this? You literally just got caught fucking red-handed. Red-handed. I swear, it was just one time. There's hundreds of these sleeping with your assistant. God, you're such a cliche. Beth. Oh, God, he's sleeping with his assistant. Oh, yuck. You're just a 19-year-old burnout. That's all you are. Your dad's lucky you didn't Don't talk about my okay, turn stop. Stop. Go back and Holy shit, no. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you dare, Mitch, you dick. There was always Austin, and then there was Harley. Us. What a joke. You married her after she had Austin, because you raised him for 11 years, so when it was at the age of 8, she was a single fucking mother. You took on the responsibility to be the new parent. Well, not new, but the, the male role model, I should say, or the stepfather, as you say. And then you had Harley that, oh shit, dude, that, that's all on you. I'm sorry, you took on the responsibility. You have no right to blame him or her. Fuck you. God, that actually makes me angry. Are you the producer? I'll call you back. Oh shit, Jonathan, fuck off. It's more like what I can do for you. Parker, do the thing. Rebecca, I'm so sorry. This man be reading from a script. It's more about what I could do for you if you see my product here, my daughter. She should be in the sour grape sponge or something. You have to put her in the show. There is no show. We're canceled. What? Yeah, there you go. N Network pulled the plug, dude. Guess what? The show's canceled. Doesn't matter. Fucking done. Presto, you lose. Goodbye. What's up, you guys? It's your boy, Thad. Mr. Fantastic to all my fans. With the sound. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome to my Insta vlog. Babe, yeah, I love proposing. you so much. And I can't think of a better place than this. Will you marry me? A better place than the set of a kids show. 
and you did it on a live stream in front of hundreds of people, what if she said no? She would have looked like the biggest asshole on the planet, dude. Oh. <laughs> He's standing in the background. He's coming for you. You're fucked. Flegel's gonna fuck you up, dude. Nana Katabara! What the hell, man? Dad, relax. I think he's just doing a magic trick. Yeah, no, that's definitely just a broken phone. Yeah, that's a very broken doing? phone. Nice. You know what? They were told they weren't allowed. Says you're right. Whoa. Oh, this is gonna be a magic trick gone wrong. This, this is about to be the shortest lived engagement ever. <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow, Reject Shop Wags the Dog is going on to town on him. He's just fucking him up. <laughs> well, he is definitely dead. And you know what? It's sort of satisfying in a way because. I hate these characters, and I kind of wanted to see him die anyway, because he was an ass. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> that is honestly kind of amazing. I sort of love that. Uh-oh. You exposed his robot hand. You're dead. Do you know where Snarky is? Can you take us to him? Harley really wants to meet Snarky. What the hell happened to his hand? Wait, why am I asking that? Why? We just saw what happened! We're back with this asshole. Killing me. She's killing you? What do you mean? You, you gotta wait for the family, dude. You may now have basically broken up with your wife, but that's your fault. You gotta wait, otherwise they can't get home, you dick. Oh, I'm guessing that's Snorky. And he's gonna come and run you over. It's time for some Simpsons hit and run! God, I'm just tired of seeing this Jonathan guy. Like, I feel so bad for his daughter because his daughter literally doesn't want to do this. She isn't, cl she's clearly embarrassed of what her dad is doing. Are you ready to meet your next superstar? Not in the slightest. I am not ready to meet my next superstar because that is totally scripted and you're literally, ugh. Ah. Oh. Why, why are you smoking a cigar, man? I'm sort of jealous, though. Whoa! That CG is terrible, but you know what? I sort of love it. No, don't hurt her! Don't hurt her! Why? Well, I got my wish. I think Jonathan's dead. <laughs> this looks so goofy! Uh, because you're a cheating bastard. You know what? You sort of deserve it. You're fucked, dude. <laughs> Fucking hell, you almost got ruined. Oh god, I wish he had died there. Hey, did you hear me? <laughs> That's so silly! Oh. He got fucked up! The head just popping off like that defied all laws of physics and then seeing him just get plowed with that little ah! is just great. And that her life is boring, but I I am just trying to keep you guys all safe. Did you find them? Paige brought me up to speed on the whole situation and I assure you everything is under control. Yeah, nothing's under control. You're never gonna find them. Oh Jesus, Jonathan walked in. Jonathan, um, oh my God. well that's gonna be a surprise for the rest of them. Now he will tell you what's been going on, and um, yeah. Attack me! Who did? Banana Splits! That's so goofy. 
Oh, I love it. What is this place? This must be where they were built or something. Is Snarky in here? No. Why are you taking it into the workshop where they were built? No, you're not gonna stuff the kids, are you? No, what the fuck are you gonna do? Hello? Snarky? Get me out of here. Oh, you're just rounding up the kids so that they never have to end the show that it can always go and that there will always be a banana split so then to perform for the kids Maybe What's that noise? Bingo Uh oh Well, called it I knew that the older brother was gonna get taken I knew Austin was gonna get fucking snatched up at some point or die Nice reason to take off your jumper just to reveal your tank top, I guess. I'm so most up for you. For you? <laughs> That's a shitty line. Oh shit! He just got thrown over the fucking edge. Oh man, but Austin didn't die. I guess it's back to square one with my guesses. Hey, you gotta let us out of here. Of course you can. Just unlock the gate. I tried to tell them that is wrong, but they wouldn't listen. Something went wrong with my update. Oh my god, it bit off his finger. Wait, did they... How did they bite off his fingers? But now they're hurting people. You can stop this, but you have to let us out of here. Maybe the kid has a point? Quite possibly the kid has a point. Maybe I... Yeah, maybe... So apparently though, it was just an update issue with their software. That's what caused it to happen. Oh, hey kids, put on your ha happiest faces because the Banana Split Show is about to begin. What? <laughs> what? Yeah, the Banana Split Show is about to begin. Just can you please turn off those red lights in your eyes? It's really unsettling. <laughs> oh, God, I understand that you built them, but fucking hell, why are you crying over an animatronic that killed people, man? Whoa, what's he doing? Whoa! Kids are badass! He just branded his forehead! Oh, so now he's been locked in there. Wait, so was it on purpose or was it not? Was it on purpose or not? Wait, so he tried to actually kidnap the kids in the end and put them back in. Was it on purpose? The software update issue or whatever? Stand down. I'm ordering you to stand down. Yeah, that's not gonna do anything, lady. You're you're dead. You're going to fucking die. Um, next snap maybe. <laughs> oh Christ! She ripped out his eyes. Oh. oh. Wait. Oh my God! I thought. I thought there was a self-destruct alarm for a second. I thought they was about to self-destruct. Why did I think it was going to self-destruct that little beeping noise? <laughs> what the flying fuck is this? <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Just breaking all of her fingers, why don't ya? Oh, they're gonna do the fucking what was it called? A sloppy time course or whatever it was? Oh, that can only end well for them. Oh, oh. Fucking hell! There's gotta be something else in there rather than just the slime. Oi! The broken thing is in head! Ah! Where's the blue key? Oh shit. He has the blue key, that's bad. That's an Ivan Milat spine stab right there. Oh my god, that was his exposed spine. Who knew a key could be so sharp? I did it! I did it! Hang on, I thought your hand was broken. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. Oh! Holy shit! Three cheers for Rebecca! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Fuck me! Holy shit! That was kind of awesome. Just climbing up the ladder to get to the top and just a, oh shit, sort of moment. That's, that's fantastic.
Oh, fuck, run. You're gonna need that toilet in a moment, lady. That sign was pointing you in the direction of where you need to relieve yourself. Run. I got a fresh bottle of Pepsi, too, so... Bottoms up. We have to find Flegel. They took Harley and Zoe. We have to stop them. There must be a way to stop them. Just die, maybe? That, that will stop them because you'll all be dead anyway. They won't have anyone to kill anymore. I mean... Problem solved. You're all annoying anyway. <laughs> Yo! Austin, Austin, Austin. Fucking hell, he just started kicking the shit out of that fucking animatronic. Is that music? It sounds like it's coming from down fuck there. Is that music. What the fuck is going on with this movie? This movie's weird, man. This movie's beyond strange. What's down there? What the hell? Where the fuck did that vent or like that passage come from? Since when was that there? Let's go. <laughs> hell yeah, it's time to go full Ellen Ripley on these fucking animatronics. What is that? I was building a system for my boy. A fifth banana split? Oh no, there's gonna be a fifth one, isn't there? It, 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 it's gonna be a fucking final boss, isn't it? They're just gonna randomly have a fifth one show up, aren't they? Well, that's fucking goofy as shit. Why are you putting that on? <laughs> that looks hilarious! It looks so stupid, it's so big! <laughs> That's hilarious. I love it. It's fucking great. And his throat slashed by animatronic claws. Guess you can say she will be clawing her way to the top. Haha. <laughs> Was that like her colleague or whatever? Because he's wearing the same suit, I guess? Wow! Like he has like drumsticks or something just fucking in his eyes. Oh my god! They are traumatizing those children hard. It's Stevie with the lollipop still down his fucking throat, just rolling him out on the fucking bicycle, tricycle or whatever the fuck it is. These kids must be traumatized. TV mail here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell! He just got blasted. What the fuck is this movie? This movie is one of the strangest things I've ever seen, and I kind of love it. Silly TV, smoking bad for your health. I feel personally attacked. Wow, okay, Mitch is on the wheel of endings. I'm the vice president of programming. Never mind, it's the vice president. I, I thought it was Mitch, but I forgot he got ran over by, um... You know, I don't remember the elephant's name. I wonder how the show is gonna end! With a banana split, where you get to split him down the middle. Art uh, the clown style. Great job, Snorky. Put them with our other friends. Good job, Snorky. Good job, Snorky. Just chaining them up and everything. Like these kids have to eat at some point. I hope they know that. What do I mean? What? Are, what the hell? They're animatronics. What the fuck would I know? Snooky gave them the key. Wait, what? What? I'm confused. I'm confused. And also, how the anim other animatronics not see that? I know they're robots, but still. Banana. It did let a banana split. Oh no, this is gonna go bad. <laughs> Wait, are they gonna tear him in half? Nope, they're just tearing off his arms and legs, apparently. Wow! 
<laughs> I'll admit, this movie's goofy as shit, but the kills are fun. The kills are really fun. Grab Harley and Zoe and go. Go! Fucking hell, don't be a hero, lady. Don't be a fucking hero. Come on, you fucking son of a bitch. Oh, I, I think sharks, aliens, animatronics, and that are tired of being called sons of bitches at this point. <laughs> Ow, wee, the back of her head. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, she's about to get fucked up. But she's going to be saved at the last minute. I know this. Snorky's going to save her, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so that's one down for the count. Fucking crowbar to the head. Stop choking her, alright? This isn't that type of movie. Mom! Oh my god. She. Is he gonna use the wand? She. Yep, the wand that Austin gave him for his birthday was what was used to kill the animatronic. Why didn't I see that coming that that was going to be used at some point? How did I not see that fucking coming? How on earth? And here it comes. Yeah, how did I know we were gonna get one more shoot? Oh! Snorky coming in to save the day! Did, did Snorky just do a crotch shot? <laughs> what the fuck? It's an animatronic 1v1! What the fuck is this? What is this? Oh, ripped out Snorky's heart! Oh, there goes Snorky! They're both going down together. Both going down together. Snorky! Harley, it's an animatronic for fuck's sake. I don't give a shit if he's always gonna be your favorite. He's an animatronic. Who fucking cares? Who fucking cares? If it was like one of the fucking Wiggles like Jeff or Greg or whatever, yeah, I'd be sad. But not a fucking animatronic like a fucking Chuck E. Cheese. So, um, I was kind of wondering if after everything that happened, maybe um, you could um, give me your number. Oh, look. Oh, no. Okay, never mind. That That's a bit far. You, you could have just started off with like dinner or a drink or something. Like, come on. I got, I got hit by a car. Why are you still alive? I love you, Beth. <laughs> oh! <laughs> fucking knockout! I want a yeah, I'd want a divorce too. Fucking lights out, c Jesus Christ. I can't say that word on YouTube, otherwise, I'm gonna get age restricted. <laughs> Is he still what running away? Is the ambulance left him behind! Oh no, he can't catch a break and I'm kind of happy about that. Oh, I don't believe this! Oh! What the f- oh, Wow! Holy crap! Wait, is that the girl who put on that stupid owl face? Fucking hell, what the hell? What the hell is this? Why? Why? <laughs> this movie was fucking weird, guys. <laughs> this movie was so weird. The Banana Splits movie is a wild ride, to say the least. It's a strange, bizarre fucking film. That, honestly, I had a blast watching. Like, is it good? Not in the slightest. It has so many things wrong with it. Its pacing is all over the place. The script, the acting. Nada. Nada. Non-existent at times. Um, but you know what? If you take it for what it is, and you just sit down, sit back, and just turn your brain off, guess what? It is a really fun time. It's really, really enjoyable. Like, the kills were fun, the animatronics were pretty cool, actually, to say the least. And the gore. Oh my god, the gore is so satisfying. Like, for a film for what it is, it sets out to do one thing and achieves that, and it is very, very entertaining for it. I had a blast watching this film. I can't deny it. I cannot deny how much fun I had while watching this film. It... 
it was a riot. It was good. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, I recommend checking it out if you haven't. Is it a Finance of Freddy's movie in a way? In a way, yes. It very much so does feel like a Finance of Freddy's S type film with the animatronics, hunting people down, murdering them, not necessarily stuffing them in bed. What is it, animatronic suits or anything? But, you know, it does have those elements. It, but I would probably prefer to watch Willy's Wonderland over this, probably because of Nick Cage alone. But, you know, I... They're both entertaining, and, you know, if the Finance of Freddy's movie that's coming out from Blumhouse is nearly as entertaining as this, I think I've got to give it a thumbs up. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this reaction to the Banana Splits movie. I'm looking forward to more reactions coming very, very soon. Look out for next week when I do 2014's Tusk. Can't wait to bring that to you guys. My first ever Kevin Smith movie on the channel. Either way, guys, I'm really excited for that one. I hope it's good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said, look out for more content and videos and reactions coming very, very soon. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.